Hello everyone, now we will continue structure of bacteria. I am Dr. Sharad Deshmukh from S.H. Jaiswal College, Arjuna Murgao, District Gondia. In the previous video, we have seen about the cell wall of the bacteria. In the cell wall, we have seen the various aspects that is the general structure of the peptide glycon, the structural unit that is the, of the peptide glycon, then gram positive and gram negative cell wall in detail and we have also seen the lipopolysaccharide and various functions of the cell wall. In today's lecture, we are going to study about the cell membrane or the plasma membrane of the bacteria. So you can see here the bacterial cell which is having the outermost side is the capsule. Below the capsule is the cell wall and the cell membrane or the plasma membrane is beneath the cell wall. So as such the cell membrane and the cell wall it comprises the cell envelope. So among these we have seen detail about the cell wall. And second part of the cell envelope is the cell membrane or the plasma membrane. So today we are going to see in detail about the plasma membrane. So here you can see that the plasma membrane is the just beneath the cell wall and it is about 5 to 10 nanometer in thickness. It is a very thin structure just below the cell wall and uh, 5 to 10 nanometer means very very thin structure. You can see here the 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So you can imagine the size and the cytoplasmic membrane is about 10% of the total dry weight of the cell. So as compared to the cell wall it is the less one. Then in this case the major component is the proteins while the other components include the lipids and the carbohydrates. So it contains maximum that is 75% of the proteins and 20 to 30% of the lipids and about 2% of the carbohydrates which are very less in quantity. The proteins which are mainly the phosphoproteins and the lipids are the phospholipids and which form a layer that is the bilayer that is known as the lipid bilayer which is the structure of the uh, cytoplasmic membrane the major component in the cell, cell membrane. So the proteins are embedded in the lipid bilayer and these are the two types of the proteins. Here you can see these two proteins are the extrinsic protein which is also known as the peripheral protein and second is the intrinsic protein that is the integral protein. So extrinsic proteins are on the surface of the layer and intrinsic protein are embedded in the cell membrane. That's why they have mentioned as the peripheral protein and the integral protein. Now let us come to the next aspect that is the actual structure of the cell membrane you can see here the presence of the phospholipid that is the lipid bilayer and these are the extrinsic protein and these are the integral protein these are embedded in the cell membrane. So in this way we have mentioned already in the structure the types of the proteins and the phospholipid bilayer this is the lipid bilayer this is ideal structure of the cytoplasmic membrane. This can be simply represented by such type of the figure that is the cell membrane or the plasma membrane. Now let us come to the most important aspect what are the functions of the plasma membrane or cytoplasmic membrane? It plays the most important role in various function. One of the most important function is it acts as a semi permeable membrane. So the presence of the permeases or the enzyme permeases they are responsible for the transport of the nutrients or the among the across the cytoplasmic membrane. Now you can see here suppose this is the cytoplasmic membrane or the plasma membrane and these are the components, these molecules which can cross the cytoplasmic membrane from outside to inside and similarly from inside to outside. So that's why it is acting as a semi permeable membrane for the transportation. The second aspect, most important aspect, it, it contains the enzymes and these enzymes are responsible for the biosynthetic pathways of the components of the cell wall. The cell wall component which are synthesized by the various biosynthetic pathways and enzyme which are required for this synthesis are present in the cytoplasmic membrane or they are associated with the cytoplasmic membrane. This is the major important function of the cytoplasmic membrane. Next one is the it is a site of the generation of the proton motive force. This is the most important again function because the proton motive force is responsible for the 
the movement of the flagellum the flagella is motivated by the proton motive force and this is generated at the this side that is in the plasma membrane in aerobic bacteria particularly aerobic bacteria the components of the electron transport chain that is the etc and oxidative phosphorylations are associated with the cytoplasmic membrane they are in the cytoplasmic membrane that is the electron transport chain then similarly the photosynthetic apparatus of the purple bacteria that is the photosynthetic bacteria is within the cytoplasmic membrane just like the in aerobic bacteria the electron transport chain components are present similarly the photosynthetic apparatus is also associated with the cytoplasmic membrane in the photosynthetic bacteria similarly the components of the required for the control of the chemotaxis that is the transportation of the chemical agents are located in the cytoplasmic membrane the chemotaxis means the transport of the chemicals either inside to outside or outside to inside that is the chemotaxis phenomena and that are controlled by the components which are associated with the plasma membrane then it is the attachment side of the chromosome and the plasmid this is also one of the important function in the cytoplasmic membrane which carries the site of the attachment for the chromosome as well as the plasmid if present so here uh, we complete the cytoplasmic membrane thank you in the next video we will learn about the capsule of bacteria